Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. Today we're going to be looking at locking carabiners, the different types and styles available and what they're used for. Now we're going to be using the camp range of locking carabiners as an example. They're fairly new to the market, they've got some cool features and camp gave us a load to play with, so be rude not to really. So what is a locking carabiner? Well, as the name suggests, the gate itself locks. So here you can see it's open and then you screw the little doogee what's it thing and the gate is shut. Now that's compared to a normal sort of snap gate carabiner like this, which just closes without that gate. Now, of course, having some kind of a locking mechanism does make it a bit fiddlier to open, but it vastly improves the carabiner in terms of safety. Also, it helps with strength because that gate and the whole carabiner is much stronger when the gate is shut and locked. So there's occasions when you're climbing, when you're rigging, that you need this locking section for extra safety. And that's why we're gonna be checking out this range today. At the end of the day, you need some on your harness. So for anchors, belays, certain gear placement, alpine coils, there's just loads of uses for a locking carabiner. So let's jump right in and check out an HMS carabiner. Now an HMS carabiner has a slightly different shape from a normal beaner. If we see this is a D-lock one and this is the HMS, it's actually shaped a bit like a pear, so much wider at the top, and it's even more obvious on this HMS carabiner here. Now, why do we like HMS carabiners? Well, that wide pear shape allows you to be lots very versatile with the ropes you use. So you can put multiple ropes in them and tie multiple knots to them. So think tote, two clove hitches, two munter hitches for abseiling down. It just allows you to be very versatile when you're rigging systems. Now, what does HMS stand for? Well, I hadn't got a clue until I Googled it, and it turns out it's an acronym. HMS comes from the German word Halbmastwerf Schierung. Half is half, Mastwerf is clove hitch, and Schierung is to protect or secure. Ah. Ah. So the first HMS carabiner we're going to be looking at is the Core Lock. It weighs 81 grams, it's got a major access strength of 23 kilonewtons, and a cool little feature about it is the gate opens up to 27 millimetres, so that's nice and wide for all your easy clipping needs. It's a great value carabiner at around 12 euros on the Epic TV shop, and it features Camp's known for flat spot on the HMS area, this little bit here, and that allows you to separate two ropes when it's in the device. This means the ropes don't rub together when you're using them and it extends the life of the rope itself, which is a cool little techie feature. If you're thinking at this point in the chat, why would I need one? Well, HMS carabiners are fantastic for multi-pitching or alpine climbing or anything we just need to rig a system. Now, personally, I carry at least two of them up any big route. I tend to clip them to the back of my gear loop or sometimes my leg loop. Maybe I'm a bit old school thinking of that, but if it's on my leg loop, I don't use it anywhere else. And then when I get to the belay, it's there ready for me. Is that just me or does anyone else do that? I don't know. If, however, you need your HMSs with a bit more grunt to them, then check out the Atom 2-Lock Carabiner. Now, this is a little bit heavier at 88 grams, but it's stronger with a major access strength of 26 kilonewtons. Now, with this kind of carabiner, you can see the shape is a little bit different. Personally, I like that sort of extended pear-shaped, but it is different from that core, so worth bearing in mind if you're looking at the two of them. What's cool about this is the system of unlocking that gate. So it's not a screw, it's a twist and a pull. So you just twist it one way and then pull it back. Now this initially might seem like a bit of a faff, but it's one of those things that the more you practice, you quickly get into the rhythm of. And what I like is because it has quite a sort of precise way of opening it, it means that you don't sort of forget to unscrew it. You have to twist it and open it to open the thing, and the second you let it go, it's locked. So there's no retwisting up the carabiner. And in certain circumstances, especially if you're tired or you've just had a big day, then that's quite a useful feature. 
However, personally, I find that when I've got gloves on with this, it, it can get a bit fiddly, and sometimes the end of the glove can kind of get stuck in it. So personally, when I alpine climb, I like a more simple twist lock like this. And it's good because this is also an Atom HMS Carabiner, similar to this, but it has got this lovely little twisty gate. Okay, the next type of carabiner is one that I never really got before, but my mind has been changed. And that is a belay carabiner, and this is the core belay lock. Now this has a little gate down the bottom of the carabiner. So the main gate works in exactly the same way. You unscrew it, open it up, and then fiddle it into your harness by flicking up this gate. Once you've got it on, it means that your harness loop stays in this bottom section and the carabiner doesn't move around. If you haven't got this gate, occasionally when you're moving around, when you're belaying, giving slack, taking it in, that carabiner can twist and you can cross load. Now cross loading isn't a great idea. It's the weakest part of the carabiner and it could potentially cause accidents. It also just gets in the way. Having that sideways carabiner, you sort of got to fiddle it. It's another thing to think about when you're trying to focus on belaying. Having a specific belayer carabiner means you don't need to worry about that issue. Now, my problems with it was that you have a carabiner on your harness that has one very specific job. However, honestly, I mainly go sport climbing. So I just leave one attached to my belay device that stays in my bag or on my harness. And it's just my dedicated belay carabiner. So I do think it's a good idea. And this core belay lock is a great product to go for. Okay, let's go down a rabbit hole, which is fast and light carabiners. Now, when you're first looking for those locking carabiners, you're gonna want anything, just something that feels good in the hand. But slowly, the world of media, people like me, start to get to you. And you start to think that fast and light is the way forward. Tiny little locking carabiners with no weight on your harness, and you can float up E6s easily. Now they are fantastic, but with everything there's a compromise and the faster and lighter you go, it tends to be less durable. And sometimes because they're so small, they can just not feel great in the hand. However, the camp ones are things of beauty. And I wanna start off with the Nimbus lock, which is a mini HMS carabiner. Now this weighs 69 grams, so lighter weight, and has a major access strength of 21 kilonewtons. As you can see, it's got that little pear-shaped, so this can be used for rigging. You can fit two ropes in, but obviously it's going to be more of a squeeze. And for sort of anchor building and all that kind of thing, rappelling off it, bringing someone up, it's a smaller version of the much bigger HMS. Now the small head angle isn't necessarily a problem, especially if you're doing a lot of ice climbing or you've got very thin ropes. The thinner the ropes, the smaller the profile and the more easily they'll fit into that head. There's one final bit of techiness about this which interested me. It uses an older solid beam construction in the carabiner itself rather than a more modern I-beam. So why have they done that? Well, simply you get way more strength for comparable amount of weight. So for a mini HMS, it's going to be banged around. It's going to be hitting the rock. It's going to be on your harness. You want something with a bit of durability. And I like the fact that Camp has sort of thought out of the box for this little carabiner. So as we discussed, having locking carabiners on your harness, at least a few of them is a very good idea. And having a few of them usually means they weigh more, whereas this little orbit carabiner is the perfect solution for that. It's a normal shape size, it's a normal carabiner, so not an HMS, and it weighs a tiny 45 grams, so nice and small, but still with a major access strength of 24 kilonewtons. This has just got endless uses. Again, gear, clipping into an anchor, uh, repelling, just loads of reasons why having locking carabiners on your harness is a good thing. Now, of course, there are compromises because it's very light, because it's very small and has that low profile, it is a bit more fiddly. So if you're trying to clip it or again, use it with gloves, it can get a little bit irritating. Now with all things, you have to make a decision. And if you're going fast and light and small, then look, you're gonna have to compromise a little bit, but you kinda don't have to anymore because this is the Photon Lock Carabiner. It weighs even less, 43 grams, and has a slightly wider space in it. The size difference is marginal if you compare the sort of the three types here. However, it is a bit bigger. It is easier to open. It's a, it feels a little bit fast and light, a little bit more fragile perhaps, so 
worth bearing in mind. But honestly, if you're looking for sort of a range of do-it-all carabiners, the Photon is hard to look past. And it's probably the one out of all this if I was just buying an everyday carabiner, which I would personally go for. Now, before we finish, I wanted to talk briefly about the nose of a carabiner. Now, back in the day, there used to be a little raised section here, which would sort of catch on the rope if you were trying to use it. Now, brands have looked at this, they've developed the systems and solutions, and a sort of a key lock is the general term for it has been developed. And key lock just allows the nose to slot into the gate. And Camp's version is called sphere lock. Now, it's worth mentioning because it's nice and smooth and there are no issues with this carabiners or in any of the range of carabiners. So it's just something you don't need to think about anymore, especially with the camp stuff. Another nice feature is this little warning sticker on the gate itself. Now that's exposed when it's undone and you can't see it when it's done up. It's a really nice way of getting a quick visual check to make sure your carabiners are done up, especially if you're climbing with people who are learning or a bit new to it, you can just glance down and see if they're safe, which is a lovely little thing to put into the carabiners. Getting the right carabiner is all about the type of climbing that you do. If you're a sport climber, you don't need many locking carabiners. Perhaps just go for something simple like that core lock or that orbit that we talked about before, just all round everyday ones. If however you need some multi-pitch stuff, then look at the HMS carabiners because the ability to fit two ropes in it is invaluable, especially if you're alpine climbing. And that Belay carabiner finally, yeah, it is a specific tool, but man, does it make such a difference when you're belaying. And I was so, so wrong about this little thing. So there you go. As always, let me know what you think. Have you used this range? Is it good? Are there flaws? Comment below because we read them all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.